Hello, my family. Good evening. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Okay, it's Thursday, 1st of August, 2024. Happy new month, my darling. I pray that things go on well with you and your heart desires, your good heart desires, God will grant them for you. Amen. All right, you'll be asking, why is my face like this? I'm really not happy because... My country, Nigeria, things are not really well, despite how wealthy and rich we are that God has blessed us with natural resources. The rich get richer, the poor get poorer. This is just part of what we're saying here because we're all here together. And um, today they're doing protest. And uh, if people are not hungry, if people are not suffering, nobody will want to do any protest. Do you understand what I mean? And I've seen some videos. The fact remains that when people are being listened to, you know, the masses that that made you to get to where you are today, if you listen to them, hear their cries, okay, that means, and you do something about it, that means you're, you're leading well. You're leading well. What makes you a leader? This is what we have to understand and do what is right in the sight of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's time for our word for today courtesy of ucb island our topic today says rely on god and stay within the boundary lines okay and our bible reading is taken from the book of galatians 5 verse 16 and i read from my bible verse 16 it says ah the sun wow i hope you can see my face verse 16 says this i say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh praise the lord hallelujah all right let's continue my darling there is just enough ego and independence in us to want to do things our own way and they keep getting us into trouble all right walk by spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh for the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to, to the flesh they are in conflict with each other note the word flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit What's the key to victory? First, lean on God and less on yourself. Second, establish boundaries in your life. That's why daily Bible reading is so important. It keeps you in God's safety zone by telling you what you can do and what you had better not do to be safe. Roads have lines, one on each side and one in the middle. These lines provide margin for our safety while we are driving. If we go over the line on one side, what would happen? We risk going into the ditch. If we cross over the line in the middle, we risk getting hit by oncoming traffic. We appreciate those lines because they keep us safe. And it's like that in our personal lives too. When we have clearly marked boundary lines, we feel much better and experience God's peace. When God says, don't, it's not been difficult to get along with. He's been protective. You have been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. You are precious in his eyes and he wants only the best for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You understand this? It's very clear, my darling. So we need to lean more on God okay and less on ourselves we have to rely on god and stay within the boundary lines that he has given us he has set for us so god has set these boundary lines for us just like the traffic light example that we were given here you have the lines that you don't have to cross okay for just the incoming for the cars that are coming and you that is going there driving if you try to go on another line that is not yours you know what's going to happen so the same thing is applicable in our lives when we don't stay within the boundary lines that god has given us maybe god has mapped out for us we tend to deviate and getting ourselves into trouble and god does not want that so the simple rules are here to follow god has set that simple rules for us to follow so all we need to do is obey him put our trust and hope in god and he will lead us directly Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so once we follow those simple rules, we live a fulfilled life. Okay. Three times, three lines for you to keep on the traffic. The same lines God has mapped out for you to keep following his ways. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So to succeed and to progress, you have to follow God's direction because he can see ahead of you. 
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is it for today, my darling. I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from What for Today, courtesy of UCB Island. And we're reading the Bible for the whole year. Can they refer back to my previous videos? You can see the chapters we've read already, okay? But for today, we are reading Job chapter 21, chapter 22, and 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Thank you again for listening. God bless you. And don't forget to share. Most importantly, I hope that the leaders do what they are being elected to do so that everyone will leave. Okay. Amen. And happy new month again, my darling. No evil emergency. Amen. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.